Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, back on the Paul Pluto channel doing paid reviews. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Sky Dweller. Sky Dweller. Okay guys, I'm doing paid review 22QB35. Now this here is regarding should I take a profit from a no day Submariner. Rolex Submariner. Here we go. Dear Archie, we hope you are doing well. First of all, we'd like to thank you for keeping us company with vlogs and videos. You always put a smile on our face. We are a Swiss couple, Martina and Jorg. In our 40s, we both work and have no kids. We have followed you since 2016 and this is our third paid review. We have a very important decision to make which cannot be made without consulting the pontiff. <coughs> In six years we built a small collection. 2016 Hamilton Intramatic. 2017 Rolex Datejust Blue Dial White Gold Fluted Bezel Oyster Bracelet. 2018 Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon Manual Wind with Helsolite Glass. 2019 Rolex Explorer 39mm. 2019 Rolex Explorer Blue Dial GV. Sorry, Rolex Milgauss Blue Dial GV. 2019 Rolex Submariner No Date. <clears throat> and 2021 Jaeger Le Coultre Reverso Manual Wind. All watches have been purchased new at list price or with some discount. We are planning an eight week trip to Australia and Asia next August. And although we have the financial for means for it, we are wondering whether to sell the Rolex Submariner to free up some cash and profit from the hype around Rolex steel sports watches. A dealer has offered us 11,000 uh, Swiss francs for it, that's eleven and a half thousand US. That would be a four thousand profit on the purchase price and possibly a chance that comes once in a lifetime. If we sell the sub, we might buy a new discontinued Omega Seamaster 300 as a more practical but still very beautiful diver alternative to the Submariner. Uh, this would allow us to still have a lot of money for Australia and for a dinner with you if we manage to visit Brisbane. On the other hand, if we sell the sub, we probably would never be able to buy again. We are not willing to pay any premium. What do you reckon, Art? Should we sell the sub or not? What do you think of the Seamaster in black with rubber strap? <clears throat> any other thoughts on the collection? Thank you. For your honest and much appreciated advice, keep up the good work and see you in Australia. All the best. Martina and Jorg. Now, I immediately, I came back to these people here and my, my reply was swift and sweet. I came back and said, uh, basically, don't sell the Rolex Submariner. Poor people need to sell their possessions to finance, travel, or other things. A dealer is only interested in themselves. Dealer is not going to do you favors because he likes you. He's interested in himself. I said, this is a crazy idea. Why don't you also sell your car? I said, it's fucking stupid idea to be selling it for a holiday of all things. Have you ever heard of savings? How about budgeting? No, don't do it. So this is, this is my advice to them. I told them, no, 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 no. And I've got to be honest with you, it's it's one of these things here. Um, <coughs> I got to be totally honest with you. I don't like to see people um, selling off, cherry picking the best pieces to sell for other expenses. Now I got to be totally honest with you. I think the Submariner since. This email came in on the 24th of April. We are now uh, towards the end, after the halfway, it's the 16th of May. And what's happened? The market has actually 
crumbled a bit. Yes, indeed, it has crumbled. So maybe that offer is no longer on the cards. But I got to be totally honest with you. I think unless, look, if you're desperate and you need the money, say, for example, you're buying an apartment for yourself, something of value, <coughs> sometimes it is good to sell. I have sold watches that I have loved to be able to do other things. But you guys are young, in your 40s, both working, double income, no kids. You are dinks. Double income, no kids. Now, I'll be honest with you, that is a very silly idea to sell the Submariner. That's kind of the, it's one of the, the key great pieces in your collection. It's the glue that holds the collection together. I mean, you've got some nice pieces there. Look at it. The Hamilton. Well, the Hamilton is garbage. The Datejust 41, beautiful. The Speedy, beautiful. Explorer 139 mil, beautiful. Milgaus Blue, beautiful. Then we've got the Sub. It's a classic, iconic piece. Then we've got a JLC manual wine reverso. I mean, this is beautiful key pieces. You would be nuts to cherry pick the best piece. That's not what I can do. Now, I'm not saying don't go on holidays. I didn't say that. But don't cherry pick this piece because the problem is you're going to kill the mojo of the collection. So I would say to you, the best advice I can give you, you don't really benefit from doing that. It's going to really hurt the collection. I would keep it. Now, maybe slow down on the next acquisition. That'd be fine. But a lot of people they seem to, they get rid of things they already have. And that's a big mistake because dealers aren't going to do your favors. And when are you going to get one back again? A Submariner is a beautiful timepiece. And I, so many people regret these decisions. Now, if one of you's had a terminal disease and you got no money, sure, sell it off. Enjoy your memories. But, you guys have both got jobs. You both got jobs. Maybe cut back on the going to restaurants. Maybe cut back on a bit of other consumption. Maybe get off your ass and get a second or third job. Hmm. But. Don't sell the Submariner. It's iconic, it's key, it's a beautiful piece. That is a mistake. Your collection is starting to go really nice and to sell the Sub is stupidity. Now, from when you sent this to now, the market has gotten tougher, but I still wouldn't sell because the thing is, the Submariner is so iconic, it's so beautiful, just enjoy it. That's what you got to do. Enjoy it, love it, keep it. That's exactly what you need to do is keep, 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 keep the sub. That's my honest advice to you. Keep the sub. It is a beautiful piece. If you are on the bones of your ass, sure, sell it. But if you are both working both love your watches it's lunacy to sell that especially to get a holiday a consumption now you guys have just got to cut back the spending there's no reason why you'd need to sell that watch at all so please don't don't sell that that's a, that's a big mistake submariners are special pieces for special people they are beautiful Winners do things losers aren't prepared to do. Get off your ass. Get a second or third job. Work harder. That's what you need to do. Pull the finger out and work harder.
grit. Grit is what makes the difference. Elon Musk said, Elon Musk said, you can't change the world working 40 hours a week. You can't change the world working 40 hours a week. You need to work a lot, lot faster and harder. So my advice to you, definitely don't sell. Get out there and earn more money. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I will see you in the next one. Guys! I'm here for you. Remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I desperately need more paid reviews. Get a paid review, 50 US dollars. Look down in the description to how to get a paid review organized. And I look forward to reviewing your collection. Remember, you can also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me full time on YouTube. See you later, guys. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out, guys. Jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand and 90 plus different brands, new and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please, guys, check out watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury, and check out watchshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, re I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area. And I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon. Look down below and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.